Now, will they imprison John? Will they capture him and torture him or whatever? Will this journey have been a big mistake for him? You trust me, John Snow? No. Does that <laughs> make me a fool? You're a fool. Load of bones. Been a long time. Last time I saw you, the little crow was your prisoner. The other way around now. What happened? War. Why aren't you in chains? He's not my prisoner. No? What is he? We're allies. You fucking traitor. <laughs> you fight for the crows now? We're not here to fight. We're here to talk. Is that right? You and the pretty crow do a lot of talking, Tormund. And when you're done talking, do you get down on your knees and suck his cock? <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to wind up killing him. If indeed that's what he does here. Yeah, seems like it. Gather the elders and let's talk. Does killing their leader make him their leader now? Yeah, I knew that was going to come to a head. It came to a head a lot quicker than I thought it would. But I knew that was going to happen. It's not a trick. Should he be turning those over? For those who join us. Dragon glass. Do they know what that is? The man of the Night's Watch used one of these daggers to kill a walker. You saw this? No. But I trust the man. There are old stories about dragon glass. There are old stories about ice spiders, big as hounds. And with the things we've seen, you don't believe them? <laughs> Come with me, and I'll share these weapons. Come with you where? There are good lands south of the wall. The Night's Watch will let you through the tunnel and allow your people to farm those lands. I knew Mance Raider. He never wanted a war with the Night's Watch. He wanted a new life for his people, for you. We're prepared to give you that new life. If... If you swear you'll join us when the real war begins. Against the White Walkers. He's dead. He died. Hmm. By an arrow shot by John. I put an arrow through his heart. Hey, hey. I will send the Lord Commander back to Castle Black with no eyes. Hey, none of you saw Mans die. I did. It was the Southern King who broke our army, Stannis. I wanted to burn him alive to send us a message. Jon Snow had defied their cut's orders. His arrow was mercy. What he did took courage, and that's what we need today. The courage to make peace with men we've been killing for generations. You vouch for this man, Tormund. He's preaching to both my daughters. But he knows how to fight. <laughs> he didn't have to come to Hard Hope. He came because he needs us. And we need him. I'll never trust a man in black. But I trust you, Tormund. If you say this is the way, we're with you. This is the way. Shivering Sea. Hmm. That's our enemy. So in other words, he's going to be killed by the White Walkers and become a White Walker. While the rest will survive to fight them. <laughs> Dark it wrong. <laughs> yeah, something's going on.
Is this the White Walkers coming or an avalanche of some sort? Yeah, like that little wooden gate's going to stop whatever this is. What is it, an avalanche? Well, something happened. Something happened quickly. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's time to get out of Dodge. A giant white walker, potentially giant white walker. So what can they do to stop them? They've got the dragon glass. This is the first test of this alliance. The first battle. And where they'll begin to trust John. Is the dragon glass the only thing that will kill them? Or... Am I mistaken? Are these the creatures that the dragon glass will even kill? The way she said goodbye to her children just makes me think that was her final goodbye. Now those are those white walkers up there and these are the, the, the army of the dead that they're using. Yeah, so I think I think this just answered my question. These aren't the things that the dragon glass will kill, but those up on the mountaintop are. Well, they get a chance to kill one. No, ah, he didn't get it. Or did he get one?
Well, you need to get the dragon glass. Oh, that sword didn't shatter. So maybe that sword can kill him. There you go. What is this sword made with dragon glass or something? Or is it Valerian steel and that's what will also kill them? What is special about that sword? Now, who is this? Is this their leader? And he just saw John destroy... One of the walkers. Are those her children? You need that dragon glass. Hmm. Yeah, they're too many. They, they're not going to be able to fight all them off. He's big enough, he might not have to swim. He might be able to just walk and wade out there. Well, I knew that one woman who put her children on the boat, I knew something was going to happen to her, either to her or the kids. So they keep focusing on him. He must be their leader. The White Walker's leader. Yeah, all of those that died become part of his army now. That's how he adds to his army. Yeah, there she is.
Well, that's a preview of what's to come, I guess. Wow, I guess we see a little bit of a preview of what an upcoming war with the White Walkers would be like. They would have to fight the dead, and if they get killed, or their troops get killed, they become part of the army of the White Walkers, part of the army of the dead, I guess you would say. So that doesn't sound like an easy war to win. You have to go after the White Walkers and kill them. And it looks like John Sword has that ability, because when he stabbed or sliced that White Walker that he was fighting, he just turned to, to glass or to ice and just fell in pieces. Just like when Sam killed the White Walker with the dragon glass. So there's something special about John's sword. Uh, is it Valerian steel and that's what does it? Or is it made with dragon glass? Or some maybe some inscriptions on it? I don't know. But there does seem to be something special about John's sword. With Arya... Of course, she's, she's learning to become someone else, and she's going into the city and posing as this oyster vendor. I guess everybody else in the city sees her as this other person, while we see her as Arya. At least that's what I'm guessing, that they see her as this other person. But she has something that she has to do for Jockin, or something that Jockin wants her to do. And I guess we'll find that out either in the next episode or in the one after that, episode 10. And Sansa learned that her two little brothers are still alive if she can trust Theon and believe what he said or I should say if she can believe what Reek said uh, Bran and Rickon are still alive of course we know they are though we haven't seen Rickon when was the last time we saw Rickon might have been last season and of course we don't see much of Bran anyway so I was thinking we would get some of his story in this episode but apparently not maybe they're saving that for episode 10 We'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. So stick around with me. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe now. And hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload each of these new reactions. And also please leave some comments down below if you have any observations or thoughts about this episode or the previous episodes. Maybe something I missed, something I didn't understand or got wrong. Let me know down in the comments. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Those things really do help channels to grow, and they help with YouTube's search algorithm. So it's always greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.